Welcome to the Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control 12C Demo Series. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to customize the Performance Summary page in Enterprise Manager Cloud Control 12C. The Performance Summary page shows you all the relevant performance data for a particular target. Using this page, you can ensure your Oracle Fusion middleware and WebLogic deployments are performing as expected and meeting your targets. And you can customize this page to monitor exactly the performance metrics you want. You can access a target's performance summary page in a couple of ways at Enterprise Manager Cloud Control. In this example, we're on the home page of a WebLogic server. We can go to the WebLogic server menu and select Monitoring, Performance Summary, or if we go to the Routing Topology page, here we can simply right-click the server and select Monitoring, Performance Summary. Here you see the default performance summary metrics. It shows the availability of the server, general metrics such as active sessions, request processing time, etc., memory metrics such as memory pool and garbage collection, data source metrics, host metrics, and lastly metrics for servlets and JSPs. Let's go back up to the top. You can customize the default settings for this page in a number of ways. This allows you to monitor exactly what you want. You can add additional performance metrics and remove default metrics using the metric palette. So let's click the Show Metric Palette and say we don't want to see the metrics on the garbage collection. So we'll uncheck those. But we are interested in JVM threads. So let's expand that and we'll select JVM Threads Started since Startup. Now let's scroll back up and we'll scroll down and here you see that the garbage collection metrics are no longer shown and now we see our new Threads chart. So you can add the metrics you want to see and remove the ones you don't want to see. You can also change the time frame from the data displayed by default, it's the past day. You can change it to the past two hours, the past 15 minutes, select from the calendar, or use the slider by clicking the slider link. Let's make it the last 12 hours. So we'll just slide this bar, and now you see just that data. You can also overlay another WebLogic server's performance data on the current server's data using this overlay menu. Or you can overlay historical performance data on the current data. Let's overlay yesterday's data on today's. Now you see metrics for both yesterday in red and the current data in blue, and you can compare the two. Let's remove the overlay. In 12C, you can now also create a baseline of this performance data to be used in performance comparison operations as a benchmark. Let's create a baseline. Click OK. And now we see it in the drop-down menu. Now you can use it to compare against historical performance data. To do this, we adjust the time period to what's being displayed to a period in the past. We we'll use the calendar. And we'll show yesterday's date. Now we see the data for yesterday and we'll overlay the baseline that we just created. 
You can also use baselines created previously, for example during load testing, to compare against current performance data. Let's remove the overlay and we'll set the display back to the past day. Then we'll overlay a load testing baseline that I created earlier. So you can see this is very useful for performance comparisons. And lastly, you can save any customizations made so that the next time you access Enterprise Manager, these customizations are still available. You do this simply by clicking Save Charts, and we'll save it as the default name. So that's it for customizing the Performance Summary page. Thanks for watching this demonstration.